All right, so we got Clock Tower 3 here, which is uh, pretty old. Looks like this is from 2003. Uh, there you go. The follow-up to Clock Tower 2, of course, which I don't believe was a Capcom game. We, we kind of inherited the brand. Uh, hit us up in the chat so we know how you're feeling, how we sound, what you think of these games, what I should do. Battle Royale came out, I think, in 2000, and then Fukasaku didn't... he didn't survive much longer than that. Oh, yeah. This I is, like, one of his gamer. last works, if he directed this. Oh wow, the manual has a has an ad for Red Dead Revolver back when that was still a Capcom game. If they only knew what it would become. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm trying to find out here if the manual so says... Uh, this game stars a tower. <laughs> I'm just going to start from the beginning. Okay. So really, like These games are both really interesting, and I think that uh, you'll find that they're actually pretty akin to some of the more popular horror games you see nowadays. At the time, it was kind of a rarity. There's, there's practically no combat. You're mostly just running and hiding. Huh. And I can think of a few recent games just like that. Dearest Alyssa, how have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago Did you tweet that, that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you, and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. Please, go into hiding until your 15th birthday has passed. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please, do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Mum. Alyssa, you're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello? Mum? Hello? Are you there? What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mum? Hello? Mum? Mum? Answer me. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious that the mom is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say mom one more time and she'll probably answer. Yeah. Probably didn't realize she was on the phone. Nostalgic Gamer says, uh, "Try and get through the Mom, first boss." I'm yes, back. I do. That is my goal. And quote, I think, I think uh, and I quote here: "Most Capcom moment ever." It's pretty true. It's okay. pretty. Uh, they left their mark. <laughs> Definitely some great uh, use of music throughout this game. Set the atmosphere and. Uh, Really, uh, boost that anxiety level. I'm not ready. And for some, this. well, some, a lot of the music is public domain too. I think. Huh. Looping Chopin. Huh. <laughs> um, excuse me. Are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back. At all. So it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. <laughs> My sweet Alyssa. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me! Creepy. <laughs> wow. 
<sighs> I think you're so, in control now. Here I go, here I go. When do you get rebellion? <laughs> 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 so this game, yeah, it has kind of a classic RE vibe, except y you're not a special agent with guns and such. It's also not quite as gory, although there are some disturbingly violent moments. Just for Yuri. Oh no. Um, you can crouch and crawl and hide, and that's about it. And you can use items. Except for the, this game does have boss battles, which are very Capcomian indeed. So uh, that's when it although gets not the really. Guns. I mean, I would say that also that door, like, you remember how the classic RE games, it used to be a load screen? Yeah. This is cool. Like, I think it I don't know if it's loading here, but it kind of forces you into this animation, but you still feel directly in control the whole time. The, sa the same tactic employed by the Fatal Frame games, mm. which are quite effective. Oops. I think by the time that they got to the PS2, they figured out how to Do load, a more load stuff in it's the background without explicitly uh, stopping the action to show you. you yeah. Know? It's very seamless. Oh my gosh, that's not where the eight is in a clock. But but I'll let it slide. That's a good point. Like I, uh, as I saw somebody in the chat, they said this is not canon. But, but you can see there are Roman numerals under the. Yeah, that clock. That kidding. clock is definitely non-canon. Non-canonical clocks. <laughs> uh, there's a band name. <laughs> I guess. At the very least, it's an album name. This entr entrance looks an awful lot like the uh, mansion in RE1. But I, I think it was still pretty novel to be a completely helpless protagonist in a video game. Whoa. What happened there? So... The mechanic, so you have a panic meter, which is like a health meter, except it rises when she gets scared of stuff, and then falls when you, it, so it's like regenerating health if you just like hang out somewhere safe for a while, which again, I think was pretty, was pretty ahead of its time. There, there were a few games that had done that. Fear effect, notably, on the PS1. I don't know why people don't talk about that game, but it had a um, fear-based health system. What happens if you fill this up? She just gets a so panic attack? if it it goes all the way up, she goes into panic mode, which makes it so she she runs all crazy like, almost like in Monster Hunter where you run faster, but well, there's no stamina. there's no stamina, but it's like she'll she'll randomly trip sometimes, and then you're screwed. Yeah, uh, and she's also uh. like if she's hit in panic mode, she dies. <laughs> Why is her panic mode all not all the way up? Like that would freak me out. Well, she's she's pretty strong. Ugh. Girls are made of toughest stuff. <sighs> so can can Alyssa crawl? Yes, <laughs> she can if it Why can't Clock Tower crawl? I don't <laughs> Uh exactly. so Exorcism, holy water. Yeah, so you use holy water to uh Break those seals on the doors, and also to fight ghosts. This game has ghosts. Funny ward. And you run like a champ, too. At times, this game kind of reminds me of the movie House. Were you there when we watched that? Nope. It's, this 19, it's a 1977 psychedelic horror movie from Japan. The only house I watch is the TV series about it, the doctor. It's not that one. Oh, okay. It's brilliant, though. It's a great movie. All right. It's like a really fun haunted house movie. Ooh. Oh, hey Mo. What's up? How's it going? Oh, wait. So, uh, wake up. Show you says uh, Clock Tower is a Capcom game. I didn't know. So yeah, I just, think it's just, just part three. Just three, yeah. Just part three was published by Capcom. Who developed it? Do we know? I think or it was internal. Oh, it was internal? Well, that's not a good sign. 
somebody's having a rough time in the restroom. Huh. Did you run out of, uh... It just doesn't work on that sigil. Mysteriously. I love that seamlessness. Oh, man. I'm going here through the manual to find out who the developer was. Uh, it doesn't say, but it does say Capcom hint line 1-900-976-3343. I wonder where that goes now. I would love to call that, and it turns out it goes to my desk. <laughs> Have a conversation with myself. Mom, I came back home. I know you told me not to, but I couldn't help it. I'm so worried about you. Where are you, Mom? What the is the music playing at the? Yeah. Okay. Who's playing that? Where's the sound coming from? Who's doing that? Very dramatic. Oh, here, Nostalgic Gamer with the info. Capcom Production Studio 3 joint. A collaboration with Sunsoft. I'm glad you know what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he probably has access to the internet and all that, too. Yeah. Which we do, but we're using all of, all of it to stream. All of the internet. All, nobody can send a single email Virtually outside none the left. <laughs> Well, how embarrassing. Run! Did you say this is a linear game or, or it has more of the... It's got elements of non-linearity and also... Man, the lighting on these explosions is just great. Quite notably, procedural scares. I'm telling you, like... Look at the games that are coming, like the horror games that are coming out now. That explosion took a lot of place. <laughs> but I love that this is, this has the war as a setting, you know, like, it's a very real world uh, setting. Wow. Easy Freezy asks, is she equipped with ballistics? I don't think she's equipped with anything. Just fear. Dude, if you think she looks like Ashley from RE4, wait till you see Haunting Ground. <laughs> it looks like they just <laughs> imported Ashley. Copy paste. Copy paste. The record that is not what they did. <laughs> Again with the music. And there's yeah, and there's just like lots and lots of delightful piano music for the rest of the game. I don't know supposed to run into those. Oh no! War is hell, guys. Whip. Get away. Oh, the phone was, they can't go very far. But you so here, this is a cool mechanic. Check it out. So I got a ring, right? And she was just asking about a ring. So there's this uh, spiritual healing mechanic where you find a sentimental item that belongs to one of these ghosts. 
And uh, if you give it to them, you heal their spirit, and then they GTFO, and oftentimes <laughs> they'll leave you something as thanks. So you have to put that back in a box? Uh, how does that work? <laughs> Wait! Ah, I'm ready! Yay! I used my holy water. So, let me thank you. Oh, she's back. Yeah, th it's just like a momentary stun. There we go. So you use that. It heals the spirit. Huh. Very interesting. And I don't remember what that stone does. Let's find out. Okay, yeah. So you, it eats an attack for you. Do you have to equip it beforehand or no? I don't think so. So these you can use to refill your holy water, which you should do every chance you get. Oh, and you can also save. Yep, which you should also do every chance you get. That will serve as your checkpoint. Sorry, Greg, your wire here. There are other checkpoints, but they're not as generous. They would have been called generous points. It's true. It's accurate and catchy. Does this still knock over the... Oh, it doesn't. Neat. Not that it matters, but... Now you, now you know how to uh, set up those stealth kills. Yeah. Except those aren't a thing. Or, or are they? I have no idea. It's a nice view. Yeah. There's a, there's a door. Sigil. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Anytime. And not to be anal, but I might as well refill again. <laughs> Ooh, that's fine. My precious antique cans. This is the life. Listen to this soothing music. Uh-oh. That's you, not soothing. Do you press triangle and the music stops? Is that what happened? No, it just stops abruptly. Oh, God! <laughs> no! It's pretty fast. It doesn't know what it wants. Oh, my gosh. Jeez, blood stains. So you need to figure out what the sentimental item is? My darling. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'm sorry. Oh, there's something here. So this, yeah. So far, the ones I've encountered in this game don't require that you go very far. It's like, can the ghost have picked this up? No, the ghost cannot, in you know, interact with physical objects. It's not ghost trick. So what right? am I even doing? You're restoring the order. How? I thought I was giving it to the ghost. No, you're putting it where it belongs. So you put uh, the pen with the notebook. And I did it again. There we go. Nice, satisfying cutscene. If you actually well like done. ghosts and want them to interact with objects, then you should be playing Ghost Trick. That's a good point. And now the snow game. comes. I thought Aww. that was classy. What a classy game. This is maybe the classiest game of 2003. Prove me wrong, chat. Today, uh, this week's community question, what's the classiest game of 2003? <laughs> Forget Halloween theme. Just let's talk about classiness. Delicate snow. This is actually a Christmas game. Very nice. Oh, yeah. See, Christmas sale. Well, it's Christmas Day.
there's something weirdly warming about this game, I think, because it has that Christmas theme and just like this nice piano music. Even when the piano music is kind of scary, it's uh, still kind of nice. So, loving father travels a lot. So, this is a hiding spot. And it's not important yet, but when the do when when stuff goes down, you'll be relying on those. Blood everywhere. It's a bad sign. Young pianist brutally murdered Ugh. back in 1942. So, young May Norton, only 12. Autopsy revealed it was an instantaneous death caused by a blow to the skull with a heavy blunt object. No suspects named, but we'll meet who that is. And she was quite the little pianist. Uh, here we go. Check it out. Oh my gosh, a giant hammer. Here. Wait. I killed her. Well, obviously. <laughs> oh. Yeah, a Can little I dark go now. Huh? Can I go now? Yeah, you'll be fine. That's like the worst thing that happens. Okay. Until the next guy, which we will get. So now you run from this dude and hide. And they're fairly forgiving. Oh god! Wait, it's in here. <laughs> Wait, let me try to open this drawer drawer while this guy with the crap mallet comes at me. So you see, even though he missed me, my panic went up a little bit. Because when a guy with a giant hammer takes a swing at you and you're a defenseless young girl. Poor oh boy. Oh, uh, you start to panic. He knows her by name. He knows. Somehow he knows. And he will follow me down. It is kind of like uh, the evolution of the Nemesis! God! Get me out of here. Must hide from Crazeman. I don't care about the desk. Why can't I hide under the bed? Break his kneecaps! So, that's an evade point. He's not dead, but he's like, he's down for a little while. And then I'll leave, and then procedurally, he will make new appearances. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a another game which features the theme of isolation heavily. Can't think of the name though, so I guess I'll change the subject. Yeah. He's like slightly comical the way he like runs at you and is bumbling. So now now do you go back to that hiding spot or no? Uh if next time he comes out, if it's if it's convenient, I'll go there. 
Got it. Maze room key. You unlock the thing that gave you a key to unlock something else. They're sending me down that hole. So I believe this is maze room. I hope it's not a maze room. You know uh, what I'm saying? See what I'm doing? Do you see my thought process here? That was an amazing pun. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> man. And down the hole we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, smile, child's bed. Nope. Oh, letter. See, I'm helpful. <laughs> Got the invitation. Hi, guys. Here we go. A cutscene. Oh, shit. I mean... Rated M for Mature. Alisa. Open the door. <laughs> it's been a while since we've streamed. Sorry. Wait, what was it? I missed it. Uh, never mind. Then. Alisa. She's kind of like... Making short work of him over and over. <laughs> wow. Uh, I love my dad. Uh, piano is hard, but I love my daddy. <laughs> okay. See, he's already gone. Creepy, right? This is Clock Tower 3, guys. Yeah, stay tuned. Uh, at at 5, we'll be doing, we'll be switching to Haunting Ground, which is sort of a spiritual successor, also by Capcom. Um, so I think I can actually leave the house at this juncture and head to the... Uh, I do love my daddy. Oh, God! Oh, no. Alisa! Yes? Alisa! Carry on! <laughs> Was it Nothing Something Street? Yes. Can you throw holy water at it? Funnily enough, you can also save mid... Like, while you're being pursued. Yeah, save yourself into a corner. Great idea. It's like, but that, that's the thing is like, he's not actually that hard to run away from. You just have to keep running. No! <laughs> 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 oh! Every time. All right, he went away. Whoa. He just kind of teleports. Because he's a, I mean, I think he's a ghost. And like... He's a physical ghost? Yeah, he was like, actually, we'll find out more. I meant to pick that up. What a clutch I am. It's a good sign. Obviously, a very welcoming place. Realize the colors on our display here are a little warmer than they are, than they are on the screen. If there's. So I'm not sure if there's an order of operations thing here, but there's a safe that I happen to know the combination to because I played this earlier. At least I think I do. What's up with the diary? Sorry. I yeah, it. there's an order out. You have to find the thing. That's just how you save. Oh. Kind of like a typewriter, but... Very much like the typewriter. Yee. I remember it being brighter in here. Not until you turn the lights on. Hmm. Good call. I like her panicky, like, shuffle. Shambling. 
Ooh, it's covered in blood. Mm. Too much practice. Ah, <laughs> oh, the poor little girl. Now she's stressed about the concert and dead. Gosh. Like, all the running away animation is pretty good. <laughs> all the animations are good. Like, this is, this is some serious motion capture uh -huh. right here. And now, so when you go into panic mode, it looks a little silly just because it's, oh god. You know, it's, the game's pretty old. Wait, where am I? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is stuff. What is that? Lavender water, it gradually decreases your panic, although... Where are you supposed to go? Uh, is it down? Oh, thank you. Uh, yes. Special key! Oh, you gotta be cheating me. Uh-huh. I think they are cheating you. No entry. Oh. I'm not sure he can come back here. Kill him. Wow, so casual. Just like, oh, switch. No! That guy had one day till retirement. Babe. The easiest puzzle of all time. So I'm pretty sure he can't come back here. He says, uh, they say, go behind the curtain on stage. Yeah, that's what I am. He's just like, he's like pretty oblivious. You can go to the hiding spots right in front of him and he won't understand what happened. <laughs> Why are you crouching? It's fun. Sort of. Yeah, that was a tip by Copycat Ninja. Also said this game is spooky as hell. Body it's a nice holiday game. game, you know. It's like are you out of your mind? It's not actually that hard. It's just very atmospheric. No, I would totally curl up over the holidays and play this kind of thing. Okay. Dude, you know what's more stressful than this? What? Hunting any monster in Monster Hunter. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was it? One, zero, three? Yeah. Bad. Ooh. So now I have the master key. Uh, Mew Gusta says, I used to have Haunting Ground, which is actually next up on our stream right here. Yeah, we'll be playing but, uh, that at 5, and so yeah, like 20 in, minutes. In just about 20 minutes, we're going to switch over to Haunting Ground. Which, you know, very similar to this game, but looks so good. Like, that's got to be top 5 best looking PS2 games. Like, really, really good. It has a dog. You will puke. What? You'll puke tears of impressedness. You know the kind. Uh, um, of course. Every Tuesday morning. Uh, I forget if. Oh, wait. When no, I get impressed by something on Twitter. Uh huh. Uh huh. Something is some gif I see on Tumblr. Which, by the way, guys, we're on Tumblr. <laughs> oh uh, my gosh! Oh, uh, this is kind of a BS moment because you are forced to fall down. 
Ah, there. Quit pursuing me! Buddy. Here we go. Like, watch what happens here. Watch this. Not what I meant. Pretty sure this was. <laughs> There's just no way of knowing. Yeah, wasn't. Isn't there a thing where. Pretty old game. Uh, the concept of permanence. Or something like that, like little kids that are like two or younger, or maybe like six months or younger, they do this test where they they take, they get like a small toy or something, and you put it behind your back, and then the kids think it just vanished, Oops. forever, like it doesn't. Uh, I don't the know. The kid, the kid doesn't have the concept of just because he can't see it, it it's still there. You know what I mean? Terrifying. Uh, maybe. Well, it, it's a thing. Oh. All babies up to a certain age don't have. Like, oh, babies! Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah like six months. I old believe it. So he's dead. Uh, and then eventually you develop that concept of perpetuality or something, something uh -huh. that is there even though you don't see it. Uh, perpetuity. Perpetuity. This guy does not have it. He's a. Uh, he's got the mindset of a six-month-old. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's just what it's like to be a ghost. Not perfect. Even yeah, though they perfect don't have eyes. <laughs> or brains for that matter. <laughs> or anything. <clears throat> What's Project Scissors? Don't know. There's, there's a question here in the chat. Was that some kind of other clock tower thing? Mm, I don't know. Don't know. People talking about whether they, they had Clock Tower or Haunting Ground. Who invented this instrument? At a time like this, that's what's on your mind? <laughs> Who invented the harp? <laughs> Ooh. Oh. I thought you were going to change it to a suit. She's like in such good spirits right now. Yeah, super optimistic. That's a lovely piano. <laughs> uh. Great. A guy who can teleport is destroying walls. Well, in all fairness, he's. You're mine. Here to destroy things. He does have kind of a macho man, Randy Savage look. Missed. That can't. <laughs> that must have been some heavy luggage. Relax, you saved the day. Absolutely. Well, that's that's what she's thinking now. For the record, this took so much longer when I didn't know what to do. <laughs> like, I kept running back to the house and, like, missing stuff. Well, crawling isn't a mechanic that is in front of, in the front mind of most gamers, right? Well, I don't mean that part specifically. Oh, I just oh, okay. mean, like... Because, I mean, know, oftentimes... Anything. Well, but the point I was going to make is that I didn't think of crawling there. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, in this know, game where that's, like, literally the only other action you have at your... Right, but the last time you crawled was... It was fairly yeah. obvious. There was like a fireplace and it went dark and then you yeah. crawl underneath it's it. That's right? true. Uh, I would be thinking like, oh, how do I jump over this? Well, there is, but they, they, you are locked in there. There's no other place to go. Okay. I guess that makes sense then. Oh, Bad. my God. It is still scary every time that happens. <laughs> and I, I mean, as far as I can tell, it is procedural. That just happens at random. Ah, oh, no, that one's scripted. Oh man, I did it again. Oh my god, I did it again. You don't have a. Huh? Eh? 
Yay! Oh, heck, you're invisible. Why even wear the band? I can still see you? No, she's just panicking from before. Go, you dumb old. She can't, she can't. Why am I still panicking? Would you please? Well, I think we're off. Oh, I forgot. I always forget that step. You have to raise the thing again. Oh, my gosh. Wait, did I just go in and out? I guess I don't need this. Gah! Stay away! No! Just what I want. So look, just what I needed. You're mine now. You. Just what I needed. Oh! I hope that curtain trick still works. Whoa! Freak out time. Damn this thing. <laughs> he will not follow me here. Maybe there's something he doesn't like about backstage. Oh, he doesn't have the backstage pass. He can't. I hadn't thought of that. What causes PS2 thumbsticks to become gross? Uh, use. Thank God for all the loopholes. <laughs> like, if this were a living dude, I'd be in a lot more trouble. Oh boy. But that, you know, that do it's a little silly, but it does keep the game from becoming frustrating. Yeah. And, like, you still feel they want us to do impressions of the guy. Oh, Copycat Ninja wants us to do an impression of the monster yeah. saying, Alyssa, Alyssa, where are you? Where are you? Ah, I'm no good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Where are you? I cannot. <clears throat> Maybe after the sip of water. I think the more croakier voices, the better. Alisa, where are you? <laughs> Man, I'm not going to be winning any superlatives now, except for worst impression. That was our best. Our best was the worst. Now do you just have to examine? Okay, so this is the worst part to die in. So I hope I don't. Wow. Where's the little meter like uh, like Tony Hawk Pro Skater? <laughs> to help you stay balanced. Hey, can I just skitch my way to freedom? <laughs> I died here once and I had to go way back. Of course it wasn't it wouldn't have been that far if I hadn't gone the wrong direction. <laughs> Flyers. Yay. You have to go back now. Yep. Oh. A modern game probably wouldn't do this. You probably there'd be some reason that you wouldn't have to do it again. Oh man, just the 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 creaking of the thing is so nerve wracking. Mm hmm why is this even here? Well, it is a backstage thing. They, they need to 
Sometimes people need to go up there and like change the lights and all that. With a single board that's not even like nailed in or anything. I uh, see. It's look, low I mean, budget. I mean, they they were rushing that piece. They barely got the harp on time. It was just invented two weeks earlier. <laughs> No! How did you even get up here? <laughs> what is up with the butterfly? I don't know. I wish I knew. Examine the butterfly. Wait, what am I even... Shenanigans. So here's the thing. I'm at it. It's gonna follow you. It's fine. <laughs> Surprisingly hard to do. Yeah. She doesn't want to go out with you. Just hearing the door open, like, in the distance. Yeah. It does uh, play to your nerves very well. No! Sound, yeah, and sound like, design. Chase you. Sound like design the, yeah. is key in horror games. Like, you'll like, see the, the enemy himself is actually kind of goofy. Um... But it works. <sighs> Are there any upcoming Capcom games? We got Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. There's four games announced right now. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, which is 3DS, and it's going to set the world ablaze in a good way. Yeah. It's going to have online on your 3DS. Uh, and then there's the Ace Attorney Trilogy, which comes which out. What's the date on that one? To use a master key to get out the way you came in. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That comes out, I think it's December 9th, but I'll have to check because I don't know off the top of my head. Or early December. I'm a bad man. We did announce a date. And then uh, there's Resident Evil. Revelations 2. Well, I was talking about the... Oh, good point. Resident Evil, which is the, the remake of the Resident first Resident Evil. Evil. Uh, and it's, uh, it's going to be out on, what, PS3, PS4... Xbox 60, Xbox One, and PC. Is that correct? It'll be. Wait, what did you say the systems were? PS3, PS4, uh -huh. Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC. And PC, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then the same selection of consoles, but a different title, which is Resident Evil Revelations 2. Yep. And that'll be episodic. Uh, no Bo release both date of them yet. early next but year, right? Yeah. Got it. Yeah, Ace Attorney is December 9th. It says Little Land <coughs> Shark. Yeah, get away from here! <laughs> ah, now it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, crap. Alright, so it's not foolproof. I was a fool to think that would work. Go out the door. Oh, oh dead. I'm dead. No, oh, I'm not dead yet. Oh, that thing took a hit for you. Oh, nice. Thank you, thank. It's digital stone. I always go the wrong way. I think I just went the wrong way again. Can I? Why can't you hide under the bed? Shirts collection plate. <laughs> Am I all out of lavender water? Probably. I think I used the last of You don't need it right now, you're not panicking. Um, well, but at my, my uh, panic meter is awfully high. If he takes another swing, I'll be deep kimchi. Yeah, I used to say. Guessing555 is asking if you tell him the unannounced titles. No, that's what makes them unannounced. Correct. Pliers! Wow, genius! That's great. You had to go a long way to get those pliers. And that's like... Was it worth it? Can you play the piano? And what did, what did you just do? Ooh, get? that's important! Repellent arrow. Okay. 
photo. So, so are we? Is this girl the protagonist of some sort of side story, or? Well, it's the, like I think the the chapter. You know, having only played the Sledgehammer chapter, I believe it's like each thing revolves around a new horrible killer and and the people he killed. Mm. And so you're trying to put May. some spirit at ease. I have to tell you something important. I think Daddy's that's sort of the war. crux of the game. War? Saving spirits. I hate the thought of leaving you here hmm. all alone. I feel dreadful. This is cool, though. Yeah, let me raise the volume. I'll be all right. But, but what about you? You'll miss me and be sad when you're in war, won't you? Yes, yes I will. You're the most precious thing to me in the whole world. But don't worry. Daddy, don't forget the piano concourse is on Christmas Eve. The winner will have their performance aired on the radio. I'll practice really hard and win the contest so that you can hear me when you're out in the war. That would be wonderful. The competition will be stiff, but if you go to your lessons and practice properly, I'm sure you can do it. I'll practice every day. I've already chosen the piece I'm going to play. Listen. You told me this watch was a present from Mummy before you got married, remember? I'll play this tune on Christmas Eve, so you can think of Mummy and me. Then it'll be like we're all together again. Pretty sad. Oh yeah. But I got a sweet watch out of the deal. <laughs> Not sure the positives outweigh the negatives in this case. Uh huh. So. Yes. The the hammer killer was hanged. After killing a bunch of people. Well. No clear motive. So... So Nostalgic Gamer yeah. says that the point of this is to help ghosts deal with unfinished business. Mm -hmm. Quote, unquote, in that last two words. In different time periods. So... I guess the first chapter is here during the war, war, but not necessarily the second one, or maybe farther down the line. You change time. Yeah, time I guess time she gets teleported around, like the ghosts themselves. We are nearing the end of the chapter. All oh. that remains is the boss fight. Do, are we gonna spill into 5 p.m.? I think it's here? worth doing the fight. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll spill in a little. We will have a different co-pilot swapping in for Haunting Ground. Yes, I will so be tagging if she out. Comes, if she comes on time, then we'll have to apologize. Oh, wait, I just save. <laughs> sure, <it's> collector, plate. <laughs> You said this time faster than what you did before. So next uh, time it needs to be even faster. Uh, uh, hope not to disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> it is just like ludicrous that you... That clock ticking really emphasizes how long it takes to save. <laughs> but I guess it is clock tower. <laughs> So, wait, where am I taking this? To the concert hall. Oh, to the, yeah. Alicia. Alicia. 
But he's dead. So this it is goes. where it goes a little off the rails. <laughs> Turns into a Capcom game. Uh, Charge arrow. So shoot. I will now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically you use the this magic Sailor Moon style magical bow and arrow to uh, bind the enemy in place, and then you keep shooting these binding arrows to lower his. Resistance type meter, and then it's like, is this happening? Because the dude was just standing there trying to kill me with a hammer. Hey, should go go, baby? Yeah, this is like a very <laughs> transformation sequence. Couldn't possibly actually be happening <laughs> in real time. That's how that's how things work, man. So if you didn't get this item, you couldn't progress. That way. Uh huh. It's pretty cool. Precursor to the magic archer of Dragon's Dogma. Wow. I bet she feels pretty badass right now. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> it's like. Round one. Battle begin! You know, like it completely breaks the painstakingly created. Like atmosphere, but whatever. It's a nice, unique touch. Basically, you just have to like charge this thing up, which takes a while. And that, like, that wasn't a full charge. You have to charge it even more. It's like once you get him once, you're basically set. Well, basically. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. Sometimes that happens. Arthur. Yeah, no. You see that meter on the bottom? Like, that has to be taken all the way down. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Look out. So, <laughs> it's a bit of work. Yeah. But short, like, uncharged arrows do nothing, huh? They, like, stall him. If anyone has, a, uh, like, actual tips. Yeah, pro tips um, appreciated right now. I think that's avoidable. Well, it had a clear ish hitbox. Got him. Farther, farther. Like, I only kind of get the principle. It is going down. Yeah. Is there a way to make it go down faster? Does anyone know? Apparently I'm supposed to like fan out, but uh doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Like, if only I had the ghost ghostbusters. Oh wow, it's tapping him in place. Yeah. From multiple angles. Oh here we go. Wow, I guess I'm already good. Okay, that went way faster than the last time. Ah. And just as you expected this tale to end. <laughs> Lasered from space. Wow. Well, I guess you're, you're supposed to put him in some sort of circle. 
I love that sing-songy <laughs> scream. <laughs> that was something else. Wouldn't be Capcom without a bit of action, you know? I know, huh? Clover of Love. What does that do? Oh, the piano's back. Mm -hmm. Has strange powers, all right. Great. So now I just have to restore May, and that'll be the end of the thing. Still a bit worse for the wear. May, your father is dead. There was an explosion, a shell. Also, you're dead. I'm so sorry. Please don't cry. Can probably stop practicing. I understand practicing. how you feel. I never even knew my father. I lost him soon after I was born. But I love my grandfather just the way you love your father. And this, this is an awfully meandering father. tale. And continue to practice the piano as hard as you can. You know that would make him happy. Wow. May. May. Daddy! Thank you, May. Your beautiful playing has brought me back to you. At last, we can be together again. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, May. Goodbye, Mr. Norton. Goodbye. Oh. Thank you. Goodbye. It's a wonderful life. <laughs> Goodbye. So it is some sort of Christmas holiday. You see, like, it's not sort of holiday yeah. heartwarming like the the gush the gushy stuff almost outweighs the scary stuff you know I guess so all right where is she now yeah you can you can I know you got to take off why don't we take a break and I'll go grab the next co-pilot and then we'll start up haunting ground momentarily and then bring us back okay I'm all right go for it. okay Stopping the that's gameplay. Fine. Ramp. There that's, you go. So that's Clock Tower 3. We'll be back in just a minute with yes. Haunting Ground. Yes. So don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. <laughs> 